So you might have been recently welcomed by the following message to create GDPR consent before January 16, 2024. And it says that if you do not create, the ads will stop showing in UK and Europe. The first option is to create GDPR using Google Certified Consent Management Program. The second option is to create GDPR message using Google's own CMP within AdSense. And the final option is that you ignore and you say that I don't want to create GDPR message, which will result in limited ads, especially in UK and Europe. So first two options are fine, but I'll go with the second one and then confirm. Once you confirmed, the setting will be saved. You might also see the following message within your account. And it's similar that you need to create the GDPR message for all of your websites before January 16, 2024. So what you need to do is simply create a GDPR message. Once you clicked on this button on the next page, you need to complete the following requirements before you can create a GDPR message. Firstly, you need to have a privacy policy URL for your website. Then you need to choose consent options. Finally, a message. So click on create GDPR message and firstly rename the GDPR message. Then you need to select your website for which you want to create a GDPR message. You can create multiple consent messages at once, but for that you need to complete the requirement, which I already told you. That is, you need to add the website name the privacy policy URL, the logo. So firstly, we will add the website name. In my case, it's monkey QR code. Then I need to add a privacy policy URL, which is of my website. Then after that, you need to add a logo. Simply click add logo. And then you need to upload PNG or JPG logo less than 150 KB in size. So I will choose the logo and upload it. Once logo is uploaded, select and click OK. Now, similarly, you need to do this for all of your websites. If you have multiple websites, then you can select all websites and create a message all at once. But in that case, you will not be able to customize messages for each of your website. So I will go one by one to make customized messages. In this case, select OK. Then on the next screen, you need to now complete the setup. Firstly, you need to choose the language. I will choose all of the languages so it will optimize the user experience and then there is option to choose user choices so the first option is to consent which is important then you can add do not consent option now you can see the gdpr message preview the option do not consent is now there you can also add option to close the consent message. I personally recommend to keep both of them off though, so the user must consent to use your website and they must be shown with ads. Then now you can see I have turned off both of the messages. Then there is option to manage options of your consent message. I recommend to keep all of the setting as it is and do not change any of these settings. Then there is option to add partners and 
similarly i recommend to not change change any of the settings here finally there is option to add a revocation link once you done the setup go to styling to customize the message <laughs> in styling you basically can change the colors fonts to match it with your website like you can change the primary color the secondary color as well then you can change the header logo the alignment then heading fonts the colors and button colors as well finally once you're done click publish now your message is published and you can do the same for all of your website on this message under privacy and messaging you will be able to see the reports of the message keep one thing in mind that this pop-up red pop-up message will not go away once you created the gdpr message and it will take time and google will remove it by on its own so do not worry about that but make sure that you create gdpr messages for all of your websites thanks for watching